right, so here's the Stage 2 Plus controller itself. You're going to notice that you have a whole bunch of keypads right here. This will be your left front. This will be your right front. This will be your left rear. This will be your right rear. The center itself would be your five memory presets, and I'll show that to you in just a bit. You're going to notice here that on the top right hand corner you have your tank pressure. Here you have uh, four corners here that would read you the airstrip pressure. You're going to notice your startup and your stall off. Your stall off would be your automatic air out, it's on shut off at the moment, and start up, which means your rise on start, is off at the moment. And this connect means that the controller is connected to the manifold functionally and properly. So now, how to get to the presets, you're going to notice that there's a lock key here. This is so in case you drop the remote control. None of the presets, not, no, none of the buttons itself would work. So how to get into the preset or get into the functions, you're going to double click the center button, which is right here, and it unlocks itself. So you'll be able to control the right front, left front individually, same for the rears. If you want the front struts to go up, you press this button, the front will come up. If you want the rear struts to come up together, you press that one. You want to lower the fronts together? This one. You want to do this one? And there you go. All right, so you already understood how or what it takes to get to uh, going into what we call a manual mode. All right, so how to go to the presets. So once again, you double tap the center. Tap it one more time. Boom. You're going to notice that there's five memory presets. Number five being this one would be your air out. Number one being your height, uh, the highest point, I'm sorry. So again, uh, you notice that number one would be your highest at 140, two would be somewhat high, three would be your right height, four would be low, and five would be your air out. So when it go to your, let's say you want to go to your right height, you press the middle button, which is number three, and it goes to your right height. You notice the pressures itself change. I want to go back to, let's say you got to go to over a speed bump, it's high up, or you got to get in someone's driver or, or to a lift, you press one. And then you'll notice that the air pressure completely changed. You want to go back to air, uh, air out, double, I'm sorry, your right height. You want to go into your air out, which would be number five, so like that one. And you'll notice that the air pressure on the bags uh, completely aired out or air out. All right, so the next question is, is how do I turn on rise on start? So you're gonna double click, hold it for a few seconds, and you're gonna get into the BIOS. All right, so you wanna select this down, which is called the drop down menu, or the innate ignition menu. Ignition would be the rise on start. Select that one. So you want it to rise on start. Once you set your presets on number three, boom. Click up, level on three, boom. And now, whenever you start the car, the car will automatically air up. So let's give that a try. You have to load itself, and boom, there you go. So now you'll notice that rise on start, also AKA startup on three. All right, so startup on three means that whenever you start up the car, it'll rise on number three. All right, so how do I do auto air out? So, all right, it's pretty simple. Double click here, hold it for a few seconds, boom. Click on where it says drop down menu. Click on that one. Stall drop down, boom. Select up, on. Now you gotta go back to drop down menu. Select that one, drop down, yes, execute. Boom. That means whenever you shut off the car, the car will automatically air out. So you have those two key features again. So in order to get there, you have to select first drop down menu. Select stall drop and then activate drop down, okay? So let's go to the right height. And then you'll also notice that stall on is on, which means now it's activated and ready to go. So whenever we shut off the car, and as you can't see it, but you can hear it, the car aired out. All right. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys how to set presets itself on the stage. So we're gonna go to the top of the center button to unlock it. Then we're gonna hold the center for a few seconds and we're gonna go over right over to height menu. So like that one, you're gonna have your five memory presets. And let's say we're gonna start off for your right height, which is number three. Uh, you wanna select number three, it's also known as level three. Select up on on because you wanna activate it, turn it off. 
And you're gonna notice this is highlighted already in red, okay? So if you raise up, if you already know the, the uh, pressure that you need for the front and the rear, you just adjust it accordingly and then save it, uh, save the preset on the south. So let's say, for example, my right height for the front is 57, and my right height for the rear is 100. Just about 100, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's say like that. And you click on the center button once you find your desired right height. Select up to confirm, and go, and then your preset. Let's say if you want right height number one, select that one, activate it. Even if you're changing it, you have to constantly activate it. So let's say you want the front to be 145, and you want the rears to be 145. Okay, that's going be your max pressure. Select it, confirm it, and save. Now it goes over, say, for the rears. I'm sorry, to arrow number five. Select number five activate it and then that would be zero okay so like five ten or whatever as long as you're airing out a significant number then confirm it and then that's pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to send us an email over to info at airtech